Tupac, man. Um, is it true that Tupac wanted Biggie to be a part of Thug Life? Uh, I think when they first started initially, and Pac was like Pac was letting him sleep on his couch, Pac and him was bringing him out to the shows. Why wouldn't he be? Big was a lyrical genius. Big. Uh, when I spoke with him, he had told me that he didn't know why Pac was bugging on him. You know what I'm saying? Because Pac knew Big ain't had nothing to do with that quad studio. And he know Big was no king of New York or none of that shit. You understand? It was plenty of people that Pac had in his ear that, you know, clarified that and, and Pac understood that. You feel me? So now, I believe that and I know from what Big was telling me that, that he knew Pac and Puff hated each other. So now, Big may have said some things up to Pac, to Big, I mean to Puff about Pac, you understand what I'm saying? And that put more of a battery in Puff back about Pac, and Pac mad at Big, and he mad the fact that Big went on and signed and, and was with Puff like that, but you gotta realize this. Nobody was offering Big nothing. Nobody was giving him nothing. You understand? Big was, you know, Puff's artist. It got so bad, whereas that if you, if you look at it in this, this way, that, and I think we spoke about this in the last interview, Puff was told to sign not only Big, but the Junior Mafia crew with Un. You know, he didn't want to do none of that. So now he know Pac told Big not to fuck with him and that Big was going to rob him. But Big said, told me, verbatim, I can't be mad at Diddy, uh, Puffy at the time. He said, I can't be mad at Puff because he showed me how to get money. So the same formula that Puff used on Big, Big used on his own artists. That's how they was doing it. That's how he was doing it. So I believe that because of Pac and Big relationship and Big and Puff relationship and them two hating each other and Big is in the middle, you understand? It's causing a lot of confusion and a lot of fucked up situations. Whereas that until Big get off from under Puff's situation at Puff Umbrella, him and Pac could never be friends again. And I think Big was working towards that. Because I think he was working towards being friends with Pac again. Right. So Tupac warned Biggie not to sign with Bad Boy and that Puffy would rob him. And Biggie went back and told Puffy that. No, he just told, he told, he told him that he told him, Big said it. He told me he was going to, he told me that, he told me Puff was going to rob me. Puff was going, Puff was shicey. But Big also said that his management team at that time didn't know what the fuck they was doing. So after Tupac was killed, Biggie and Puffy, they was in LA and Puffy, he did the Steve Harvey show with Snoop. And it seems like they was trying to do some kind of peace treaty to stop the whole East Coast, West Coast beef. What was the deal with that, man? Well, I don't know who our deal it was, but I know for a fact Ain't no way at that point in time, Snoop could uh, say there's going to be a truce between West Coast. He was having problems with Suge himself. You understand? Puff couldn't say it was going to be no peace treaty. You understand with Bad Boy because a lot of that issue shit was because of what Big did to those guys in the dog pound. Now, Big in the dog pound wasn't doing it because Big is the one who sent that message over the radio. And you know, Snoop got on Angie Martinez and said he heard it for himself. But Snoop wasn't even there. If the dog pound, you know, the guys who was in that, that Winnebago ain't trying to do no treaty, how, how bad boy uh, Puff and Snoop Death Row gonna come out there and say we gonna do a treaty? How they gonna speak for those guys? So I think it was more so Puff trying to clear himself with the dog pound them cats and let them know that Big might be my artist and everything like that, but I ain't had nothing to do with that shit. 
because he knew he was going to have to do something with what he had left over, which was Black Rob, Mace, G. Depp, and the rest of the Sherry Dennis, um, Total, the rest of the artists he had on the thing, uh, Carl Thomas, Faith. He knew that he still was going to have to travel and be around, and he didn't want no other beefs with no other labels or no other crews, especially things that he felt like he didn't make. Did you see that episode, though, with Snoop and Puffy on the Steve Harvey show? I saw it. What you think about the episode, yo? <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> it was bullshit, bro. Come on. It was, it was right what it was, made for TV.